Now to a live look at Sac International Airport tonight as AT&T and Verizon announced the delay of their new faster 5G network on towers near some airports across the country. There are nine 5G cell towers across the state, including in Sacramento. So how could this impact Sac International Airport and why isn't this technology a problem elsewhere? CBS 13's Adrian Moore is in the newsroom getting answers for us. Adrian? Yeah, Tony and Elizabeth, we took our questions to the Sacramento County Department of Airports this evening, but we're only given a statement. So we reached out to the Airports Council International North America. We were told just a few hours ago there's still a lot airports don't know at this point and are bracing for a busy Wednesday. We're still trying to get information from the FAA regarding additional mitigation strategies that will be deployed at individual airports. A push for guidance as AT&T and Verizon announced they'll activate some of their new ultra-fast 5G wireless networks as planned on Wednesday. But cell towers within a two-mile radius of some of the nation's busiest airports will stay offline. Almost 90 commercial service airports will lose their low visibility approach capability, the type of approach capability a pilot would use in the event of rain or fog on January 19th. So how will SAC International be impacted? That's unclear. The Sacramento County Department of Airports would only give us a statement saying its team has continued to monitor the government and wireless carriers' work on understanding the impact of 5G. As this work continues, safety remains a top priority for the airport. Had we just done a little bit of better coordination ahead of time, we wouldn't have to have it come down like this. Commercial pilot Juan Brown has been flying for 23 years. His biggest concern? how the technology could hinder radio altimeters, which measure how far above the ground a plane is traveling. It's critical, he says, in bad weather conditions. The radar altimeter automatically calls off for us 50 feet, 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet. Verizon and AT&T have argued 5G has been used in dozens of other countries without any problems. So why is it an issue here? According to Reuters, it comes down to different frequency standards. They're different in countries across Europe and in South Korea. While the FAA braces for disruptions, analysts have this advice. If you don't have to travel on Wednesday, don't. Some airlines are already suspending flights. Emirates, ANA, Japan Airlines and Air India have all canceled flights to several U.S. cities until this situation is all worked out. All right. Thanks, Adrian.